Okay, I just recently ordered my DYS uh, Sunguk series. This is the SHU, S-H-U. These are 2306, 2500 KV. I kind of slapped them on this. I had some parts that I could put together to make a working quadcopter just to test the motors out really. This is an iFlight x Light frame. It only weighs about 67 grams. This was going to be for an ultralight project, but as you can see, um, the parts that I had laying around are pretty heavy and really I didn't want to put this on this really light frame. And I just wanted to test the motors out. So this is what I put together. It's not clean at all, but I just want to test the motors out and see how they work. So here's a test of my new DYS Sunguk series SHU 2306 2500 KV. They're red, they're nice looking, so let's see how they go. Okay, with these DYS Sunguk series motors, here's a couple things that I noticed. Uh, these motors are dirt cheap, they're about 10 bucks a piece. And here's a few things that I noticed. Um, this is probably how they're able to sell them so cheap. So the first thing is uh, all of the lock nuts, they're all different sizes. I had one that um, my wrench wouldn't even fit on, my, my rack, ratchet bit just wouldn't even fit on it. Um, so they're all different sizes. Um, another thing is um, the wiring, these were all bent straight down. So you weren't able to mount them flush on the arm. I actually had to bend them up in order to get them on there. I mean, it's, it's not a big deal, but it's just something that they really didn't do in the factory, I guess. Um, another thing is the wires coming out of the motor, they seem to be in no specific order. Usually they're all the same. It goes one, two, three, left, right, middle. Um, but if you wire them straight up, which I did here, they're spinning in different directions. So these wires are really in no particular order. Um, not a big deal. You can go into BL Heli and um, make sure they're all spinning the right way. That's what I did. And here's one more thing that I noticed. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it too great on the camera. Um, okay, on the bottom of the bell, here's where they did the balancing. They stuck a little bit of mud on the bottom lip of the bell housing. Uh, I'm not sure how good you can see it on the camera. They're all like that. Um, they're not balanced with mud on the inside. They're all like that and it seems like it's just a little bit of plastic that they put here and there. Um, they all have it. Some have more than others. Here's a good glob of it and it's just like melted plastic almost. Um, and I'm guessing they're not balanced properly or they're not balanced high tech they're not super duper balanced so that's just that's the main thing that i'm worried about is that this balancing mud is it's pretty exposed and if you take a, a hit um, a weird hit maybe a rock or this thing gets stuck in the mud um, and you go to pull it out this little bit of plastic could rip right out and you've got an unbalanced motor and then that's it but they are 10 bucks. They are pretty darn quick. So I'm going to see how they go right now and uh, try and post a video of that. So here we go.